Yes. Hey, welcome back to Doing It With Jason. I'm Jason and today I'm going to show you a really easy painting technique using this lovely Dixie Bell paint. Link is down below if you're interested in having some of your own. Now I'm going to be painting this end table really easy. It's been around our family for like 10 years. I was going to say 100 years. Uh, we've been, I'm really old. I'm old. I am old, but not that old. So it's been around for like 10 years. I've had four kids. Four kids destroyed this end table for the most part. So, you know, we're going to give it some fresh paint, give it a whole new life. Instead of going buy new furniture, just redo your old stuff. Now, speaking of old stuff, I have a video linked at the end of this video that I just did as well. And it's a DIY backdrop out of PVC. It's really cool. I'm using it for a blue screen. You can use it for a green screen. You can use it for like event planning. You can also use it for staging your furniture. So if you wanted like a pretty curtain thing holder, well, the video at the end of this will have that. So let's get started painting this end table. All right, so here is an old end table, seriously old. We've had this for well over a decade. And what I did was I went ahead and sanded it lightly just to kind of get rid of all the imperfections. Next, I grabbed some coffee bean Dixie Bell paint and painted it up. Now, sanding this piece was not necessary, but I did just to get rid of all the imperfections. Just want to put that out there. This paint will go directly on non-sanded furniture. Now, I just painted this whole thing, coated it all up really easy. I think this actually took about five minutes or so to cover this whole end table, and it's pretty big. Now you can use the white lightning after you sand it if you want to sand it. And if you have a lot of imperfections that you'd like to sand out, you're more than welcome to use a white lightning just to make sure that it gets all the grease off and any imperfections that might be still there. And it's ready to paint. Now after it dried, it actually looked pretty cool. I almost left it just like it is, but we added some gravel road. So with the gravel road and doing this technique, I like to use a little rag and then I'll put some paint on my brush and then wipe it off on the rag to get all the excess off and basically dry brush this onto the piece. Now, most importantly, I didn't want to overdo it with the gravel road. I just wanted to highlight it. So I'm only highlighting all the higher raised pieces mostly and then a little bit of it goes onto the flat surfaces just because I wanted that coffee bean to really show through. And if you look, that coffee bean looks awesome. It's like a gray, bronze, black, graphite, amazing brown, my favorite. Next, I added the Moonshine Silver Bullet. They have a wide variety of Moonshine metallics and man, this stuff is like liquid gold or should I say liquid silver or liquid rose, whatever color you pick, it's liquid metal amazingness. And I just highlighted a little more of what I did with the gravel road on top. So I, I just made that gravel road kind of fade to a nice silvery even highlighted or if that's a word thing. Really cool stuff. I highly recommend this. And then I also went over all the edges with the metallic paint just to kind of give it some really cool metallic finish corners. You know, if that makes any sense, really, really fun. This paint is really, really nice and will blow your mind. So after that, I added some Dixie Belle clear coat. I use the satin because the satin gives it a nice sheen, but not too flat, not too shiny just to lock it all in and make it, you know, have a nice little matte satin glow. Now putting this on, it looks bluish colored, but don't worry, as soon as it dries, it goes completely clear and really will help protect and lock in that finish. Not that it needs a clear coat, but I always like putting a clear coat on stuff. Now here's the finale look of the piece. It came out really, really cool. I was trying to keep it very toned down, very relaxed, and I think I achieved that. Now you can overdo it and put more of this color and less of this, make it your own, have a good time with it. That's all that matters. Now, thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to share this video out with your friends and check out the products. I have the link down below for you to order yours today.